Kelken Construction Systems, Long Island Railroad Job, Rail Fixation Using Ultrabon 1 High Strength Epoxy. Rail cars with supplies including Ultrabon 1 being delivered to the job site. Work crews unload rail anchors and plates onto aluminum push carts to distribute along the work area. Each work crew performs a specific task in the rail anchoring process. Core anchor holes being drilled, four simultaneously with a special drilling rig set up on rails. Scarfing the core drilled hole creates a rough inside surface for greater anchor adhesion. The Kelken scarfing bit is designed to bounce around the interior of the core hole. If it does not bounce, it will not work. The 3 8 drill extension is threaded into the bit at an angle and off center. This is intentional and vital to the function. Wet core hole before and after using the scarfing bit. All concrete chips and dust must be removed from the hole prior to filling with Ultrabon 1. Anchor hole is being cleaned out with a blowpipe and compressed air. Epoxy pumping machine with Part A and Part B containers of Ultrabon 1 anchoring material is being prepared. The epoxy pump dispensing gun with static mixing nozzle is used to mix and distribute the high strength rail anchoring gel. Crew member aligns the direct fixation plates and absorbent pad. The prepared anchor holes are then filled with epoxy. Set up for center hole hydraulic jack to pull test an installed anchor. Torque test on the installed anchors is done at 600 foot pounds. Equipment on rails is lined up in order of procedure. Rehab of the direct fixation for the track consisted of removing the old fixators, then redrilling new holes and replacing everything under the track. This part of the rail fixation rehab covered 2.75 miles of track. Call or visit us online today at kelken.com for Ultrabond and other great anchoring products.